Hey there, welcome to today's video. And today's video is all about Amazon FBA journey and seller story of two of my friends from Israel. That's David and Arseni. They are partners, they are Amazon sellers. And today I asked them to come to my channel to share their story with you, to share their journey. I'll ask them some questions. Our goal with today's video is hopefully to inspire you and motivate you and help you have a better journey. Now, what's fascinating is that I know Arseni from before I started him in selling. We went to the same boarding school and it's crazy that he's also selling Amazon right now. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy to have you here. David, man, do you want to start? Tell us a little bit about yourself, man, about your journey and let's just enjoy it. All right, guess I'll start. So I'm David, I'm 29 years old from Israel. I'm a bartender. Well, currently I'm unemployed because of the whole <laughs> pandemic. Yes. But I've started selling on Amazon, I guess, already officially a year ago. Though the idea first came to us around 2017, I think, right, Arseni? Yeah, yeah, it's right. Something around 2017. the time we got married. Uh -huh. 2017 when Arseni got married. It was a surprise because we were thinking about it back then. And then Arseni told me that a friend from my boarding school is already doing it and we should yeah. talk with him maybe ask questions when talking about you Bob, of course <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but officially we launched our product in 2019 which is awesome which is pretty cool that's pretty awesome man so uh, thank you for sharing your seni tell us about yourself man what is your story tell us a little bit yeah man how are you guys my name is arseni and we're selling on amazon with uh, my partner david about a year we start we think a lot of uh, new opportunities how to start what to do with ourselves because you know nobody wanna work uh, about 67 years and just going and do what your boss tell you to do what to do yeah. and thank you Vova, because uh, you are a mentor you help us a lot a lot of things you learn to us and uh, it's cool right now we looking for uh, another product and we'll see nice man yeah thank you i appreciate that it's my pleasure that i'm you know a part of your journey i'm helping you have a better journey on amazon and i'm happy to hear that you're doing this this fascinated me when you know we started speaking and you launched the product and Man, I was super happy and uh, I know you were crushing it and you were, you totally crushed it this Christmas and right now and hopefully, yeah, more products, more more stuff to come in. It's pretty crazy. I'm really happy for you. I'm really proud of you guys that you are doing this because as you mentioned, Arseni, nobody really wants to work for the man for 70 years. You'd rather just do your own stuff, your own side hustle, and which is a hustle eventually and it, it's endless opportunities. So yeah, guys, I would like to ask you a few questions connected to Amazon FBA, your journeys. And yeah, David, let me start with you, man. So my first question would be, so what made you want to start selling on Amazon? So that's a good question. Well, basically, well, one of the main reasons I always saw myself as someone that has to start its own business because since I started working when I was in 18, I didn't like the system. I work in tons of jobs. I have many bosses. I was one of those kind of workers that come to one job, but not hanging too much around because the boss annoyed me and stuff like that. All right. And it's kind of hard it's tough because you need to have that work ethic. You need to be a good worker in order to get your paycheck and be fed basically and pay your necessities. And I always thought that I should do something on my own and become an entrepreneur. And of course, it took me so long because of the fear of what if I won't succeed and most people are failing and maybe sh I should go study somewhere. Me and Arsenio even signed up for the same college to do an engineering studies and <laughs> we quit after six months together because we said, screw that engineering, all this math and physics. It's not for us. I, I'm not judging people that study it, but yeah. I knew that I won't be able to do it as a career. So I decided that I, I need something that will bring me an income and be my own boss. And Amazon was was pretty good opportunity. I started in 2017. I started selling my own books 
on KDP. It's not going well. I'm just a beginner writer as well. Nice. However, I think Arseni was the first person to mention that there's the system called Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, not Kindle Direct, I'm sorry. FBA. Fulfillment by Amazon. Yeah. And then we're basically, what we did, watched a few videos on YouTube, just got the idea. And it's, I'm a little bit angry that it took us like two years because we had the idea in 2017 to start it, but in 2019 we launched. And I think I'm talking too much here. So basically the main reason I want to have my own business, I want to have financial freedom so I won't be hanged by the ball sack of a yeah. boss that will decide whether I work or not. You know what I'm saying? I want to be free. Man. I, I agree with you. <laughs> pretty awesome. And yeah, so it was pretty much, as you mentioned, you were, oh, you had many jobs and uh, you enjoyed them, I believe. But sometimes and at times you wanted to quit to do it on your own. The, you know, the bosses can be a bit, yeah, I understand, man. And yeah, you're, you're in a good track, man. I believe that as you've seen the power of Amazon, it's just about repeating and hopefully it goes well, man. saying, what about you? What made you want to start selling Amazon, man? Like, how come? Shitty jobs, man. Shitty jobs. Really? We all <laughs> the time they need the job, and we don't have a education to start engineering or something like that. But I don't want to lose my my time in this yeah. world to learn something and going. My dream, my dream is traveling. Right. And if you regular employee, maybe vacation once a year. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, my opportunity is open. What right. I do right now, it's uh, let me in the future traveling, live where I want, don't stay on the same job and be scary my boss just to, to tell me tomorrow you know uh, go and, home <laughs> go home and go yeah. home. it's hard okay the amazon it's not easy game no. but if you work and if you know what you want you will take it nice take it. pretty cool so as, as you mentioned for you it also was some like not the best jobs but also the will to travel, to explore. I mean, I also met David in uh, Phuket not long ago. With, not for, unfortunately, yes. not for a long time, but we met there and I was pretty awesome as well. And I hope we'll be able to meet up in Israel again and obviously have some fun. But that's pretty interesting to hear. That's inspiring to hear that you guys, you have your why, you have your what moves you and you're actually doing that. So, and David, man, I have another question for you. So say, what do you really enjoy about Amazon FBA, right? What do you enjoy about this game? Well, I guess mainly the mobility, the, that you just can control your business through your laptop or even a cell phone for yeah. that matter. That's pretty cool. It's 21st century, is such a big opportunity. I don't need to rent a place to open a shop, to take care of all this logistics. Everything in the click of the mouse, I think is like my... What I most enjoy of it. Nice, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's true. What about you, Arsene? What, what do you enjoy? I mean, enjoy to see my sales every day. You yeah. open the, your phone, yeah, yeah. you see, oh, I did a good yeah. job today. I sit in a couch, living room, and watching TV, and the business is going. Yeah. It's cool, no? Yes, it is, man. <laughs> you remember your first sales, guys? Like when you just, oh. when the machine started moving, it was like, pew right yeah it was pretty mind-blowing pretty nice yeah i mean yeah i can relate to both of the things i mean also the mobility it allowed me to travel to quit my job as well it's it's crazy what amazon fba did to me and david i have another question for you so that that's what you like about amazon fba right but what made you frustrated with it was there anything that made you frustrated with amazon fba at some point well there were some stages that made me frustrated i don't know if it's have like a it's directly Amazon and FBA, but one of the first screw ups that we did, we waited two months in order yeah. to get our Amazon selling account authorized. First, we opened an account on my name uh -huh. and then they like blocked it after a, <laughs> like one day and then they like asked for so much papers. All right. And I was calling them, the service center in the United States, 
and I was explaining to them, you're asking me for so many legal documents that I can't provide because those are documents are in U.S. based. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you asked for the foreign documents that I cannot provide. So I had to go and translate with a lawyer and paid a lot of money just to get that red stamp on documents. Uh-huh. And eventually they just blocked my account. And then we opened another on our Sanis name and it worked. So basically what makes me frustrated that they just, you know, the wooden bureaucracy that they make the bur- people yeah. go through. Yeah, I guess you might annoying. go through some work to see what Amazon. That's pretty funny, man. What about your yeah. city? How, how, like, w- w- what made you frustrated? I mean, this probably as well because you both your partners. You yeah, yeah, we went through yeah, yeah. But aside from this, Arseni, what about you? <laughs> something else? When they look for our uh, first product, all the time you you scary about wow, it's hard to right now to start, okay? Uh-huh. But you all the time do you think wow? A couple of years ago, it's, uh, maybe it was easy in why I didn't do this in the past. Eventually, you found your product. I mean, right? You found your first product, even after all the frustration of looking. I know how hard it is with the first product. Second product, you already know all the system technically. You did all the steps. Second is just, as I mentioned Step, previously, it's like yeah. repeat, improve, repeat. And that's much easier. But first time you're like, maybe you can relate to those nights when you're just like sitting in front of the computer, checking some weird products, some whatever toys garlic presses spatulas yeah 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 and what am i doing time, you feel the fear you you know wow maybe it, it doesn't work maybe wow 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 yeah, yeah. it's gonna be it, the well. first product but then you start it's just the wheel yeah start yeah you gotta spin it and then just kind of make it spin faster maybe in a way in a more efficient way i see and david man so you're, you're in this for like one year kind of thing, right? And uh, do you plan on doing this, David, say in the future? Do you plan on doing Amazon FBA or e-commerce generally? Yeah, pretty sure I'm going to stick up with Amazon FBA for a long time. And obviously in the future, the dream is to build a label that we can take outside of Amazon as well, because yeah. I think that will be the smart move. Mm-hmm. But Amazon, it's, e-commerce is the future in 20, 30 years from now. Mm-hmm. People will buy everything online, yeah. everything, most of the services, uh, even donair kebabs, they will be sent them through an online store. So Very hot at I, your doorstep. I think <laughs> now in, in 2020s, it's good to develop that because in the future, I think we're going to have an advantage over those people that still use the old-fashioned uh, businesses, stores, basically for retail. So... Yeah, well, we're sure I'm going to continue it for sure. Yeah, no reason why not. Yeah, man. I, I, I agree. I mean, e-commerce grows and Amazon specifically grows and you get a lot of tools through Amazon itself. And eventually, yeah, it's the big idea is also to build a brand that you can sell online, maybe even re- retail. I mean, but yeah, online. So what do you think, Arseni? What about you, man? Do you see yourself selling on Amazon, doing more e-commerce? You know, man, we just start. We just, yeah, uh, right. we just start. We're not stopping. And I said, we're looking for another product, another product, another product. We're working in our, our label. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be okay. Yeah, man, for sure. Uh, I, I, I mean, you got me. We're always in contact. And we met, we met just not long ago, actually, in Israel when you came over. And I wanted to record the interview at, at that point, but I think I forgot the memory card, right, or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you brought the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That, was, that was funny. And uh, I thought, like, well, we're just going to do it online. And we're here, so that's awesome. I mean, we're here. And uh, I do really wish you guys to continue because... Yeah, I mean, I started, as you mentioned, Arseni, before you mentioned something you think, why didn't start before? Well, you know, the same thing was with me when I started in late 2016. I thought, man, the people who got in in 2013, they're probably crushing it. They're probably, it was so easy back then, right? Technically, yeah, it got a bit hard there maybe, but not really. If you still bring a good product to market, you can still succeed 2020 right now or years forward still doable so yeah do wish you guys to kick ass with new products and stuff and guys i have the last question for you so you have some experience on amazon and you went through this process you're you know you pretty much seen a lot of these things what would be your advice to other amazon sellers that are selling right now or maybe those who want to start selling on amazon do you can you share something from you david say what what do you what do you say do you have something to, to kind of advise share well, it's going to sound like a cliche, but probably never give up. 
It's a great business opportunity. I really recommend doing it. It's a bit risky, yeah, but every business opportunity is a risk. Yeah. But I think Amazon, as a matter of a starting capital, as opposed to a, like a standard business, I don't know if you want to open a furniture store or you want to open some kind of uh, locksmith services, yeah. whatever yeah. business you want to start, you need an investment. And I think it's, it's a good investment. It's a little bit difficult at first, you know, everything scares you. You think, how am I going to contact the supplier in China? How am I going to bring the goods? You know, all this at the beginning, it's a little bit overwhelming. However, when you like get the idea, it's pretty simple. Like it's not rocket science and it's possible if you're really dedicated. So my advice is like, if this is what you truly want to do, just do it. It's better to waste three years in developing a business instead of 30 years of working for someone else. Boom. I nailed it, man. Yeah. I, I, like, I, like I read it in some book. It's not like my quote. So. <laughs> it's fine, man. Everything that we're doing pretty much was done, but it's, it's good. Yes, I have some books behind me as well. It's, it's important to read. But yeah, man, I, I, I see what you're saying. Thanks for the insight and, and the sharing. And Arseni, what do you think, man? Do, do you have something you, for, from you to share with our dear sellers or wannabe sellers? What do you think? Advice? advice it's keep moving you know because your success is 100 percent. it's you yeah you should not uh, you going in the gym you want to your body looks good yeah. you need to read the book because mindset uh -huh. it's everything it's everything you can give up it, sometimes you don't want to pick up from the bed and going uh -huh. to work or something like that you should keep moving when we start we have two courses two courses to launch the product and we have a lot of problem we forgot this forgot them but together going through this and uh, you know you just moving all the time yeah man so you, you you gotta yeah understand you gotta keep moving because as you mentioned you had some problems obviously and everybody will have them once they come you have two options essentially either to face them and take the problem as an opportunity kind of treat it and then just make the most out of it or quit or just procrastinate more and i think we still procrastinate we still fear it's it's normal we also got to understand that i think everybody does that but it's just the way how you kind of yeah, treat yeah for it sure get... if you fall if you have a or something you learn you learn stuff yeah in the next uh, in the next product or uh, problem you you know what to do yeah you have experience and, and you can kind of yeah just uh just kill it because you, you already know how it feels and then you, you just make uh, the necessary moves yeah guys i mean uh i guess these are my questions to you otherwise if you want to share something more I, i'm i'm pretty happy if you would yeah, generally. I mean, you've shared a lot with, of, of like, of your, it's a pretty cool interview, actually. There's a lot of, uh, we didn't speak about some hacks for getting reviews. I just wanted to hear your story and uh, I'm excited for you that you, yeah, that, you, that you're doing it and you're not, because, you know, from many people from that, I know from, from school, you know, Arseni, that I went, you know, to, to the boarding school, I, I've spoken with many people throughout the years that wanted to do something and I wish that they will, but guys, really, you are like 1% that it actually did something. So just keep moving forward and you will crush it and you will do it. And yeah, if you want to have, if you want to share something more, just yeah, share it. You're welcome. <laughs> Probably to summarize, it was an amazing journey from the days that we spent of looking for the product. And our first text with the supplier, I, I've made a made up name right. as a secretary. Uh -huh. from an office they're contacting suppliers and looking for business opportunities so like we will see that we're like a legitimate serious business that want to buy like a whole stock of products so the suppliers will take us seriously yeah and you know this whole game is so like you feel you sit at home in your shirts yeah. when you like feel like you're kind of like a wolf from wall street in the tuxedo <laughs> you know like hustling hustling and it's fulfilling like to see something from scratch, your listing, the reviews, the yeah. product, how it's evolutionized, I guess, and grew. So it's pretty cool because it's something that we created. It's our, our, our own project. And yeah. 
feels you feel that fulfillment in you so it's pretty amazing i didn't feel about anything that i created before this way so i think this this it's, it's something good it's good and thank you over for being there for us you help us a lot with improving the listings and gave all these pro tips that we probably w- wouldn't figure out on our own so that's that's really cool to know people yeah got you back i guess in a sort of way yeah thank you man thank you for sharing you're saying do you want to share something as well man amazon it's cool you work in you make money you have that said you're sitting in your shirt and yeah make yeah. money it's good it's good experience because uh, the internet is the future yeah. it's the future right now i sitting on my couch in the living room i can order the t-shirt for me eat all stuff from phone yeah yeah from the phone this is the future and you should take a piece of this pie you know <laughs> yeah definitely we're in a good time i always say we're on a wave right now it's a huge opportunity guys and for those who are watching as well thank you guys for sharing thank you for coming i appreciate that maybe we could do that again i think it was really fun and i hope to see you again on my channel thank you thank you right, thank you thank Lola. you have a good one